I'm Josh Highland, and this is my 3D printed B1 battle droid. There's something very special about him. He's able to say over 100 phrases. Isn't that right? I hate this job. The reason he's able to talk is this the Droid Vocalizer version 3, the most advanced droid vocalizer that we've created. What's awesome about it is it's able to be used in every single Droid Division droid that's been produced so far and has over 1,000 sound clips on it. So it's a universal device that you can plug into any droid and it's Wi-Fi based. You can control it from your phone or your computer anywhere that this and your device is on the same network. The droid vocalizer is super tiny. I don't have the largest hands, and you can see how small that actually is. It's powered by USB, can also be powered by batteries, has a simple on and off switch, and indicator lights to show you the status of this. On the back side, we have a five volt output, so you can connect other accessories to it, as well as a trigger out. So when a sound clip is played, you're able to actually fire off a servo or something like that if you feel inclined. We also have two audio out ports. We have a stereo jack and also a 3.5 output. So you can hook this to an amplifier or any speakers that you want. Hooking up the droid vocalizer is extremely easy. In my case, I've ran a USB-C cable down a hollow tube that routes all the way down through his torso into his feet and out. You can provide a USB cable any way you want or actually run it off the battery pack, uh, the power in battery pack at five volts. It is not recommended for long-term use and pr we prefer the USB-C connection. So we just plug that in. Then we also provide a on off switch that you plug in. And then on top of that, we also provide a small stereo speaker that you can plug into the audio jack. So you can wire this and stick this in the, in the cavity of your droid. And then if you want, you can put the back panel back on, maybe uh, drill some holes for the speaker. Uh, it's completely up to you and also mount the power switch. That's all. After that, we can connect it to Wi-Fi and start making this guy talk. The Droid Vocalizer is really easy to set up on your Wi-Fi. I'll do a split screen here to show you what's happening on my device. Okay, we'll go ahead and open our settings on my iPhone. You can also use an Android phone or your computer, anything that connects to Wi-Fi. When we open up to Wi-Fi, we'll see that there's Vocalizer Setup. Clicking on Vocalizer Setup will bring up a configuration screen. We'll go to Configure Wi-Fi. From here, we can see all of the Wi-Fi networks that are available. Mine is called CXCB, so we'll click on that, it fills it in, and we'll also enter the password for it. Below that, we can name our device. I'll go ahead and call mine Roger. And then we'll save. Now it's going to save your Wi-Fi information and then reconnect to it. So once that's done, we should be able to open our phone, roger.local. When we connect to it, we're presented with the interface for our droid vocalizer. Going in and clicking B1 Battle Droid, we're actually connected to the vocalizer, vocalizer unit itself we can see over a hundred different sound effects that we're able to play through the vocalizer. Let's go ahead, we can adjust the volume. Let's put it at normal and play this. 
We have them outnumbered. Look over there. And this works for any droid. So let's come out. Let's go to K2SO. I'm K2SO. I'm a reprogrammed Imperial droid. We have a ton of audio for him as well. Everything that's ever been said by him on screen. They've locked down the base. And you can see we have Pit Droid, B1 Battle Droid, K2SO, IG-11, IG-12, Droidica, Imperial Probe Droid, Gonk, L3, L7, Super Battle Droid, the BX Commander Droid, the Professor Hu Yang, the Tactical Battle Droid, the Rat Catcher, C-3PO, and R2-D2 as bonuses. We can also go ahead and add favorites by clicking the hamburger menu. So from here, we can pick our favorite droids. So I'll add the B1 Battle Droid, Pit Droid, and K2SO. Because of the, those are the droids I've built, and those are the droids that I'm going to be using most often. We'll save that. And now, we can see that those droids are at the top of our list. So even if we go into another droid, like L3, I don't mess anything up. when we come back, our selected droids are at the top. There are over a thousand sounds on this vocalizer unit. And this will work anywhere that you have a Wi-Fi connection with your droid. As an added bonus, we can go to droidvocalizer.com and from there you can also do some pretty cool things. So let's enter our droid's name, Roger, and then we'll generate a remote code for it. So here we are, this is a QR code. Anyone who has this QR code can scan it and instantly take control of the audio for your droid. It's really fun, really easy. And as a way to even make this easier, you can download your QR code, save it onto your phone, or actually even print out the QR code. So that way you could tape it right to the back of your droid or put it somewhere else, and you just scan this with your phone. Super easy to do and it's really straightforward. We also have our other products available on our Etsy store as well as support that you can email us and also our YouTube video series on how to uh, build droids and manage the devices that you've purchased from us. Now let's say there's a scenario where you want to use the same vocalizer but you want to put it in a different droid, like this guy here. But you don't want it to be called Roger. This isn't Roger. So it's really easy to do. We have a reset. Oh, let me get it here. We have a reset button right there, and we give you a tool, a small tool, to press that reset button. So when you're powered up, simply push it in there and hold it down for a few seconds and your vocalizer will reset all its Wi-Fi settings. I'll show you how to do that now. So we're back at the workbench and a way to reset your vocalizer, right now this is set to Roger and we want to rename that or we want to connect to a different Wi-Fi network. Now the vocalizer is off right now. We're going to take our tool, we're going to stick it in the hole and there's a button there you'll feel it press and then we'll turn on the unit. And we'll let it sit there for a couple seconds. Okay, then we let go of it. Give it a few more seconds. Refresh our Wi-Fi. And we can see that vocalizer setup is now back. Clicking on it will bring us the familiar Wi-Fi configuration screen. So we'll configure our Wi-Fi. 
Again, we'll go ahead and pick our Wi-Fi, mine is CXCB, we'll enter the password. And then instead of vocalizer, you'll see that it was reset. That was Roger previously. We'll go back and we'll name that Pit. And then we'll hit save. Now the Wi-Fi information we entered is being saved back to the vocalizer. And that is going to be what connects to our Wi-Fi. Okay, after we have the new Wi-Fi set up, we'll reset our vocalizer. So I just turned it off. Give it a couple seconds and we'll turn it back on. When the lights turn blue, that means we're connected to Wi-Fi. So let's now open up pit.local. Take a couple seconds to load the first time. And here we are. You can see that the favorites that we have set, those are gone. So it's a completely new refresh. But now it's called Pit on our network. You can actually have multiple of these vocalizers set as long as they have different names. And here we are back connected to that through Pit. I actually recommend naming it something generic like vocalizer or droid speak, something like that. So that way you can move it around whatever droid you want and you can just go ahead and uh, use this in whatever fashion you desire. So that's it. That's the Droid Vocalizer 3. You can make your droids come to life. We've spent hundreds of hours building these things. They look great. Why not bring them to life a bit more? by having them talk. Don't you agree? Nothing to see here. <laughs> if you have any questions or concerns, I'm always available to answer them. Reach out to me through YouTube, through Facebook, through Instagram, or even the Facebook forums for Droid Division. Thanks. Oh, I forgot something. Links in the description below to get your own, or you can go to jhylandmade.com. Dot com. We also have an Etsy store. Thanks.